Hello everyone, I am Dr. Godhanda Raman. In this section, we are going to discuss with function of several variable units, entire formulas. First, we are going to discuss with partial derivatives. Let z equal to f of x comma y be a function of two variable x and y. If we keep y as a constant and then z is a function of x only. If we keep x as a constant, then z is a function of y only. The derivative of z with respect to x, treating here y as a constant, then the partial derivative of z with respect to x is denoted by one of the following symbol p or dou z by dou x or dou f by dou x or fx or zx. Similarly, the derivative of z with respect to y, here keeping x as a constant, then the partial derivative of z with respect to y and denoted by this symbol q or dou z by dou y or dou f by dou y or f y or z y. And then next, dou z by dou x being the function of x can be uh, differentiate partially with respect to x. Then here dou z by dou x partially with respect to x, we consider one of the symbol r. So dou square z by dou x square or dou square f by dou x square or f x x or z x x. And then next, dou z by dou y, we consider function of y can be differentiate partially with respect to y. Then the one of the symbol t or dou square z by dou y square, dou square f by dou y square or f y y or z y y. Then s is nothing but dou z by dou y we consider as a function. So partial derivative with respect to x then we use the symbol s or dou square z by dou x dou y or dou square f by dou x dou y or f x y or z x y. And then here dou z by dou y is a function partially derivative with respect to y we use one of the symbol s or dou square z by dou y dou x or dou square f by dou y dou x or dou f y x or z y x. So these are the partial derivatives. And then next to total derivative if u equal to f of x comma y where x is nothing but pi of t y is psi of t here u function of x comma y x y is a variable when we consider u function x y variable and then x function depending on t variable therefore now du by dt how to calculate u two variable therefore we are using do notation x depending one variable only t therefore we use d so you just think do two variable d one variable therefore dou u by dou x into dx by dt plus dou u by dou y into dy by dt and then next u equal to f of x comma y comma z here x y z variable because y u is the function of this three variable where x pi of t y psi of t is a g of t so x y is a depending on one variable it's a t variable therefore if you are going to calculate du by dt then dou u by dou x into dx by dt plus dou u by dou y into dy by dt plus dou u by dou z into dz by dt and then z equal to f of x comma y so z is nothing but the function of x comma y where here x is a function of t comma s y is a function of t comma s so in this case the function of x comma y is that also the function of x comma y x y is also depending on t comma s so two variable is that depending on two variable x y depending on two variable therefore if you, i am going to calculate dou z by dou t is nothing but dou z by dou x into dou x by dou t the previous dx by dt but here dou x by dou t what is the difference here x depending only one variable t here x depending on two variable t and s only the difference plus dou z by dou y into dou y by dou t then dou z by dou s equal to dou z by dou x into dou x by dou s plus dou z by dou y into dou y by dou s now differentiation of implicit function 
Now to calculate dy by dx equal to minus dou f by dou x divided by dou f by dou y. When the function is given, we just calculate dy by dx. Then Taylor's expansion, f of x comma y equal to f of a comma b plus 1 by 1 factorial x minus a fx plus y minus b fy here fx is nothing but the function of x comma y partial derivative with respect to x then fy is nothing but the f is the function partially derivative with respect to y this is the first degree then second degree is nothing but 1 by 2 factorial x minus a whole square fxx plus 2x minus a into y minus b fxy plus y minus b whole square fyy here fx is nothing but fx is a function so partial derivative with respect to x then fxy is nothing but fy partial derivative with respect to x then fyy fy partial derivative with respect to y so this is a second degree so this is our formula for calculating tyler expansion then jacobian though u comma v divided by do x comma y is nothing but the determinant of do u by do x do u by do y do v by do x do v by do y then properties of jacobian the first property do of u comma v divided by do x comma y into do of x comma y divided by do of u comma v is equal to 1. Other property do of u comma v divided by do of x comma y into do of x comma y divided by do of r comma s is nothing but do of u comma v divided by do of r comma s. This is another properties of Jacobian. And then maxima minima. How to calculate the procedure of maxima minima? First to, to calculate uh, do f by do x equal to 0 is nothing but the given f function partial derivative with respect to x then the given function partially derivative with respect to y equal to 0 when do f by do x equal to 0 do f by do y equal to 0 solve the above equation and find the stationary points the points once you completed then you check these points are maximum or minimum so before that to calculate r r is nothing but do f by do x partial derivative with respect to x then t do z by do y is nothing but so do z by do y partial derivative with respect to y and then do z by do y partially derivative with respect to x is a yes then do z by do x partial derivative with respect to y now when it's a minimum rt minus s square greater than 0 when it's greater than 0 then find r rt if r greater than 0 or t greater than 0 then it's a minimum then when it's a maximum rt minus s square greater than 0 and r less than 0 or t less than 0 any one so less than 0 then it's a maximum the next saddle point saddle point is nothing but not an extremum okay it's so not diff it's a difficult to calculate maximum or minimum in this situation we are considered so what is the formula to calculate this rt minus s square when is less than zero then it's called saddle point and then in conclusive is nothing but rt minus s square equal to zero so the further investigation needed because this is a fail and then Lagrange method. So Lagrange's method nothing but we require to find the maximum and minimum values of function of x comma y comma z where here x y z are subject to the constraint of the equation. The equation is nothing but some relation g of x comma y comma z equal to 0. Now the relation is nothing but capital F is equal to F plus lambda G. Here F is nothing but find the maximum or minimum. G is nothing but subject constraint. So relation. Here lambda is nothing but Lagrangian multiplier. 
Now, what is the necessary condition of finding the maxima or minimum? So, to calculate dou f by dou x 0, dou f by dou y 0, dou f by dou z 0, dou f by dou lambda 0. From this, we are solving the above equation for unknown values lambda x y z. We obtain the points x y z. The point may be maximum or minimum or neither which is decided by the physical consideration. So, these are the formula we are using the function of several variables. Thank you.